Hello and welcome to another update video about Ethereum. The Ethereum chart is also like Bitcoin moving in a range, maybe even a little bit more bullish. Um, but here Ethereum has completed basically all the minimum requirements for this five wave pattern to, to, be ups to the upside. So that is good because that is quite bullish, which means that overall the probabilities have increased that Ether indeed formed a lasting low on the 23rd of January, this swing low there. Uh, we've always said we are watching for a five wave pattern to, to the upside to emerge. And this has happened now because we needed those five waves in order to get more confidence that indeed we are in the third wave rally. Okay, and that this overall bullish wave count that I also show you on the daily time frame from time to time, I can just open it quickly, that this one is actually correct. Okay, so this has not changed at all. It's rather been confirmed through the latest price action. Yeah, so we have now on the chart a one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two setup. And um, however, we haven't got that wave two yet. And I mentioned to you before, it could be at some point, they might just go, you know, we might not get any deep pullbacks, we might be watching for pullbacks, yeah, and they can be seen as opportunities. But I'm not telling you a pullback will occur, not in this um, stage of the market, it is likely, but it's now also likely that pullbacks remain extremely shallow, as you can see here, it's uh, quite an impressive rally that Ether has, um, has undertaken there from the 23rd of January low. So bear in mind, I mean, this is like from this swing low to the top, I mean, like 40%, 38% increase, okay, um, in a few weeks. So it's pretty good. And it could just continue. I mean, I have labeled here this sort of five wave pattern in circle wave three. But if we don't see a wave two pullback at some point, I will assume that it might do the same thing that maybe Solana did, you know, in end of 2023, just go more directly. Because I have to tell you, we are already above the 61.8 extension level. Now, why is that important? Well, that is important because if we don't see another wave one form below that level, it increases the probabilities that we're going up more directly. It's not yet confirmed, but the $3,100 level, which is the 78.6 extension, I mean, if we go above that level, yeah, I will probably assume we're not going to get a pullback anymore. Yeah, because then this move up is too long. Too long for another one two setup. All right, uh, it could still turn into an ABC. And there are many other options that could unfold. But um, this is something I'm definitely watching. Okay, so I think it's best to approach it with a mindset. Okay, it's bullish. If the market offers pullbacks, they can be seen as opportunities. The Ether price hasn't broken to a new high yet. 3030 is the most imminent resistance and it takes a convincing break below 2877, which is the Tuesday low to suggest that wave one has topped. It's the first indication yeah, and then ideally a break below the um, lower boundary line of the trend channel would confirm that further. And then we have a good chance to find support in this region here between 2328 and 2,667, so between the 78.6 retracement and the 38.2 retracement. But if we look at the microstructure, um, this is just choppy. Okay, just choppy. We haven't even made a new high, so it's it's possible. It's just technically possible, for example, that the A wave has begun and this is just an A, B, C structure in wave A. Okay, there are just too many options. I mean, it could even be that um, this fifth wave is extending. How would that how would that wave count look like? Well, I would then argue that and um, yeah, I would, I would then argue that this was our one too. Okay. Um, but then this circle wave three possibly top there. This here was a wave four, but that would be very shallow again. And the wave five would give us another extension. And then in terms of micro count of the third wave, we did get an extension there. One, two, three, four, five. Um, this is to be honest, a bit of a mess what's happening here, but you know, you can, you know, you can find a way to count that. But, um, again, the micro count is not so relevant. I think what it tells us is I can make a reasonable case for a five wave move up that is bullish. And that means that if pullbacks occur now, they can be seen as opportunities. Support area is defined. Next upside targets are defined. And we talked about the larger structure. So hopefully that helps. 
Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.